and the max rewards for multiverse preseason. This uncommon Fen variant, pajama fin, and legendary Jake variant cake. Yo, what's going on, Luz? It's Soldier, and today we're reviewing the multiverse preseason battle pass. Without further ado, let's review the pass. So, the first reward we get here is Space Kook. This is a reference to Scooby Doo, pretty cool. Another reference to Scooby Doo, Uncle Shag Worth, Shaggy Variant, Epic Rody, pretty cool. Tier 2, gold 250 of that, not bad. Can be useful to unlock characters. I recommend getting pass if you're looking to unlock some characters. Then also a tier 2, that's all folks from Looney Tunes Ring Out effect, pretty cool. And tier 3 Ring Out's badge, which tracks your progress of Ring Out's, which pretty cool. Tier 3 we also get Jank Wink, and tier 4 Toast times 5 plus Weightlifting Wonder Woman Taunt and Tier 5 Total Wind Badge. Also, Tier 5 Temascura Sunset Banner. Tier 6 Lady Rainicorn Profile Icon plus 10 times Toast. Tier 7 Attacks Dodge Badge plus Omega Beam Ring Out Effect. And Tier 8 XP Boost, very helpful for unlocking levels in the perk pass for characters, pretty helpful if you're trying to unlock some levels for your characters. Tier 8, Iron Giant, Smile Sticker. There is a few glitches in the pass, as you can tell here, it says I have zero attacks or wins. That is untrue, so there is a few glitches that happen here and some load times, but other than that, it's a pretty decent pass. And Iron Giant, Smile Sticker. Pretty cool. Tier 9, Garnet Sticker, Garnet Stars. Pretty cool. We also get Star Shrek Steven Universe Hunt. Tier 10, Assist. At the moment, that is a little bit glitch, but that does track your assist. Pretty cool. Tier 10, Gotham Knight Banner. Which really reminds me of like Gotham City, that's pretty cool. And Tier 11, Gold times 250 and XP boost tier 12 road to Arkham that's an Arkham Asylum banner pretty cool tier 12 toast time Thames and tier 13 currency XP boost and Bugs Bunny taunt dance and tier 14 lasso of truth ring out effect and Fort Sweet Fort better and max rewards of the preseason pass is uncommon fin variant pajama fin and the legendary Jake variant kick. I'm gonna have to give the preseason multiverse pass. For the first time in a battle pass review, this looks interesting ring. Four figures, the first reason is rested XP. I don't exactly like the idea of this. So it claims it doubles the XP. To me, I think it actually slows down the XP. I've noticed this a few times in matches where after I play the match, instead of leveling up to like, let's say, level 13, I'm in the middle of level 12. And it's like I should have leveled up to level 13, but instead, it's like I'm halfway there due to rest XP. It's a little confusing, and to me, I don't think rest XP is the best thing in the game. And I believe it actually kind of in a sense, subtracts 2 times XP rather than adds. However, I'm not sure possibly is it 2 times XP and then actually to level up a multiverse level without rest XP could be a lot more. That is a possibility, but to me, from what I've seen, I don't think that's the case. However, feel free to give me your opinion about that in the comments if you want to. I think it's a pretty unique topic. I did want to bring that up. And the other reason is, I really like the customization of the pass. I think it's pretty good. The cake Jake variant's pretty cool. And the pajama fin variant's awesome, in my opinion. And we also have the Uncle Shag's worth, pretty cool. And 
Space Kook, pretty cool. And Themyscira, really like that a lot. Nice reference to Wonder Woman. And Wonder Woman weightlifting emote. And then, this is also looks interesting, Rink, because this is a preseason pass. So this isn't going to be how most battle passes are in multiverse. I have to imagine this going to be 100 tiers, 50 tiers. This is 15 tiers. It's kind of like, think of this as a sneak peek or preview of what we can suspect from multiverse battle passes. And to complete the pass, usually would take 13 days. If you're at level 14, you would have one more day. For me, I'm at 14. And then one more day on that would be 13. So it'd be 13 days in total to complete the pass. And if you're completing this now, you may or may not have time to complete the whole pass. The reason I'm saying you may, if you complete all these milestone challenges, you could have enough time to complete the pass. The other thing though would be you have to worry about your daily challenges and if you don't complete all those daily challenges or missions, you might get a little left behind in the pass and not be able to complete the pass. So I keep that in mind when purchasing the pass right now, maybe wait till season one or if you think you have enough time with the milestone missions, then I recommend purchasing the pass. There is decent content in the pass However, to complete the pass, it can take a while to complete the pass, but if you do have seasonal milestones that you can possibly think are reasonable to complete. Now, the reason I'm saying you can think to reasonably complete, seasonal milestones are different for each player. So what I mean by this is my milestones are different than yours. So if you feel like yours are reasonable to complete, then I recommend purchasing the pass. I do believe that that would be a pretty good takeaway to could I complete the pass in enough time and the pass cost I'd also have to say worry about the cost here and if you think it's reasonable I recommend getting the pass and if you think the content's also pretty good I recommend getting the pass it looks interesting rank for now and I think the pass could go up in ranking we'll have to see but I think it could it really depends on what these 100 tiers or 50 tiers will look like, or if they add any more tiers, who knows? It could stay at 15 tiers, but then go up to like 50 tiers in season one. It really depend on how cool those tiers will be when season one comes out and how much of an improvement this will be from preseason to season one. Until the next Battle Pass review, hopefully you enjoyed this review, found it informative and helpful. If you did, I prescribe like video, it's legend, signing off. Peace.